Welcome to another very short presentation on one of the topic of my course on CFD. So today we will discuss about Richardson extrapolation method. So this is a method by which we try to find out the true value of a approximation. Okay. So. Uh, you know, what happened is that uh, when you try to discretize a uh, partial differential equation with the help of data series expansion, what happened is that by uh, the first order derivative of Fx by data series expansion, and if we use the central difference method, then the first order derivative of the fx is a of x plus h minus a of x minus h to h. This h is the step size or increment. This is generally uni uniform or equal nature. Plus all the other higher order terms and x And what happens is this. This, 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 uh, we say that ignoring the all other higher order terms, the solution of the partial differential equation by the central inference method will be this one. So here, what happens is we try to approximate the differential equation, partial differential equation with the help of the Taylor series expansion and central difference method. So as it is an approximate value, there will be some error. And the error is this one. So what we say is error E is equal to the true value of the solution minus approximate value of the solution. This is what your error is. And this is equal to this uh, constant rule function of the step size. This is actually we say it as all other higher terms. Correct? So here what happens is we are trying to approximate the solution in case of discretization. But in case of differentiation we directly find the solution to a partial differential equation. So So here what we see is that error E is equal to true value of the solution minus approximate value of the solution. Correct? Which is equal to all other higher terms and step size square. So E is actually equal to this one. Correct? So we can say E is directly proportional to step size whole square. Now we can write it as E is approximately equals to C A squared. So we can put this uh, in here and rearrange this equation. This is the equation of error E is equal to TV minus A. So we can rearrange it and as our aim is to find the true value so TV will be equal to approximate value plus error, correct? And as error is equal to C A squared, we can write this. This is at step size H. We know the step size, we know the approximate value because the approximate value is estimated by the Tetris expansion and central difference method. But we do not know what is true value is and we do not know what is the value of this constant is. So these two are unknowns. Now if we look for the lower step size, the more uh, micro step size, sharper step size, that is h by 2. So this equation can be written as this equation. Very simple, instead of h you are putting h by 2. So ch square become 
C eight square by four. And now you can multiply. Uh, you, you can say that uh, this four uh, TV is equals to four AV plus C eight square. Right. So this is one equation, and the earlier one, is, this is another equation. Correct. Right. So this is side. You can say this is as equation A, and this is as uh, equation B. Now here you see the in case of both A and B, unknown is C and true. So if I can, there are two equations, two unknowns. You can solve them, and if you solve them by the binary method, and then rearrange them, okay, then you will have this true value is equals to approximate value of the lower step size plus approximate value of the lower step size minus approximate value of the higher step size divided by three, and this equation. Is known as the Richardson extrapolation equation, RE equation. And this is a method to find the true value of a solution. Right. So if I take an example, so in the example is like this: find the value of first derivative of or first order derivative at the point 0.35 using Richardson exploitation with central derivative scheme. For the step size 0.25, a is equal to 0.25, and step size a is equal to 0.25. When the equation is given by this expert, how to find it? So, as you know that by the central difference scheme, first order derivative can be approximated by this way: a f x plus h minus a f x minus h by 2h. So this is the central according to the central difference, and uh, in the previous slide I have mistakenly written it as 2a square, but actually the first order derivative can be approximated by this one. According to the central difference of C scheme, right? And this is an approximate value, so there will be an error. Correct. So what? As per our example, we have to find out the value of a prime first order derivative at the point 0.35, at step size h is equal to 0.25, and h is equal to 1, 0.125. If you observe, actually this 0.25, or you can say this 0.125 is actually 0.25 by 2. Right? 0.125 is actually 0.25 by 2. So this is actually h, and this is actually h. Correct. Now, uh, simple thing. Uh, first of all, uh, you use the approximate value. You try to find out the approximate value of the first order derivative of this equation. So straight away put it into the. This is the approximate value, and you put 0.35 in space of x. So this is the function plus the step size, first step size, bigger step size, 0.25. Then minus my 0.35 minus 0.25 divided by 2 into 0.25. This is step size. So this will come up to 0.7, which is as I have already told the approximate value at the step size h. Now find the approximate value at the step size h by 2. That is 0.125. Right, same manner. Just you change the step size. Instead of 0.25, you use 0.125. Right. 
Okay. So it will come about 0 0.011. So now we are as per the Richardson exploitation equation, extrapolation equations. True value is this. Equation. So as per Richardson extrapolation uh, equation. True value is actually approximate value at step size h by 2, lower step size, plus approximate value h by 2 minus a 3 h by 3. Now what we have found out in the previous side, the approximate value at h by 2 is I think around 0 0.011 plus 0 0.011 because this is 0 0.011, this is 0 0.7, right, this is also 0 0.011, 3, correct, so this will come to 0 0.24. So the true value or the solution uh, to the first order derivative, which is represented by the x square, will be 0 0.24. This is as per the Richardson extrapolation equation. Okay. So this is one of the Richardson extrapolation method. And uh, you can see, uh, let us see what is the significance of Richardson extrapolation. Equation. Okay. So, this is an iterative process, and uh, you know the approximate value will, have, of course, depend upon the step size each. And, uh, Yes, if you reduce H, it will increase the transmission error. And the exact value of X could be approached as a limit H over 0. But whatever may be the case, uh, Richardson extrapolation equation provides a very easy way to find the true solution of a partial differential equation. And the formula is that you know this approximate value lower step size, reduced step size, and uh, then we do it approximate value reduced step size, approximate value higher step size divided by three. Yes, if you reduce the step size, then as you know, either is this one. So whenever you are reducing the step size, error is increasing, right? So when h is equals to this two, uh, you are, uh, basically what happens is you, you are continuously increasing the truncation error pool as a result, and so. He will say what is truncation error that is true. So the truncation error is actually this O is equal to B by H square. Now when H is H by 2, what are we going to see? This will become 4 E by H square. Truncation error is increasing. Not the A, sorry. Truncation error is increased. So if, we, if, we, if it is 8 by 4, then uh, what happens? A square is 8 by 16. So 16 e divided by 8 square. And so on. So more the, uh, you reduce H, truncation error will be Right, and exact value of x could be approached as a limit a is 2 or 0. However, if you go into that b equal to error is directly proportional to this term, 
then what happens means error will reduce when h will reduce. Simple. If you reduce h by h by 2, uh, then this error will also reduce by 1 fourth. If you reduce it by 1 fourth, error will reduce by 1 uh, by 16. And so on, more you reduce the step size, error will reduce more. And ultimately, you will find that error is going towards zero. So when h is towards zero, error is also towards zero. But not the truncation error. Truncation error is something different. Truncation error is like this. So that is a significant stop. The church some extrapolation equation.